But yeah, people just got to accept. Just accept who you are. This ain't me. Well, why you keep doing it? If you keep doing something over and over again, it's you. You keep, that, that's you. Say it's you so you can fix it. Because it's a cycle. And at some point, we're going to stop using the word cycle. Because that becomes a crutch as well. No, this is you. This is what you do to people. This is how you are. This is how you act. So say it so you can fix it and heal yourself from it. But we got those, they be um, they just be stuck in in it, but it's it's self-inflicted shit. You creating that for yourself. I ain't saying everything peaches and cream either. Okay, I have my days, we all do, because we still spiritual beings having a human experience. Indeed. Okay? We came here to have experiences and to learn. So when we transition, we take it back to spirit world, what we learned, okay? And then, okay, if we decide to come back incarnate again, it's going to be something else. It's going to be another. Either we're going to have a smooth life, be millionaires, because we done been through the mud already. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we can back through this life. Yes. So uh, just accepting what is and then working from it and healing from it. That's what that is. But you got those that are, they, they just won't because I understand when it comes to parenting that they couldn't give us what they didn't have. I understand that. Um, hey, Rena! But see, that's where we grow because that's an experience. I'm not going to do what my parents did or where they lacked at. I'm going to do the total opposite. And be there for my kids and listen to them and 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 try to, whatever it is that I didn't get, I'm gonna give to them. And again, that is a an escapism for me. That is a form of um you a, a, a scapegoat. You're just gonna say um things just because, but that ain't it. You gotta no own up to it, accept what it is, and then move on. You know, and some people just won't get it, and they, you got to be fine with that. And I know it's, it's it hurts because it be parents, and grandparents, and family members. But understand, it's not the face. It's not the face. It's the soul of the person. Okay, you we don't we don't live lives with these souls before. They were something. They might not have been your auntie the last time. They could have been your brother. They could have been your sister last lifetime. They could have very well been your mama, your coworker, your boss last like but it was something that was needed to that you needed to learn and teach each other that didn't happen them last few times and that's why it be the same soul and just a different body and people don't understand that you do not have to stay in a family that you were earthly born into okay you were just born into it you will meet your soul family on your way you will meet the ones that are kindred okay and they're gonna be there and support you in whatever way you know, because we got those that wants to support you, but then they like, they don't have the money. Well, it's not all about money. I may just need you to support me in just showing up. Okay. Just, and, and, and saying hi or, or checking in that's support, you know, checking on somebody It's different ways of support. It's not always money. Okay. So we got those people too. And it's just that ways it, and it's sad because I had to learn it like that too like I was I love family I I am I was I am in love with my family and to see that some of them I can't grow with um I got to leave them behind I got to remove myself if that's block them or whatever um I just have to do it but that's how you learn how to detach from attachments okay you got to you can't be too attached to, to people, places, or things, okay? That's what creates that, 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 that depression, that grief when people want to end themselves, when people just want, you know, okay, you know, you, you got these unalive things going on in your head and, you you know, when you get your heart broken and you and you miss your best friend and, and somebody or, or people are just not getting where you're coming from, well, it's not for them too. You are to keep walking in your purpose, living your truth, living for you, and what's for you will come to you. And that's just that. So when it comes to family, y'all, I know it's hard. I know it hurts. But you have to do what you have to do. 